What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be covering some features and updates in PowerDirector. Now this is important because the pro version of PowerDirector comes in at $35 annually. Cyberlink investing in the application is also reassuring and added features provide more creative tools for Chromebook video editors like you and I. For reference, I'm using the Google Pixel Book Go with 8th Gen Intel Core i5, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabyte solid state drive. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Now you can find the Google Pixel Book Go at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. You can also find the Power Director app on the Google Play Store. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here we are in Power Director, and the first thing I wanna go over is video templates. So in the top left-hand corner, we have a toolbar there. It starts with the house, and then we have a film icon with a music icon next to it. We're going to tap on that icon. Now this further expands that toolbar, and we're going to have different options. We have video, photo, video template, and music. Again, we're looking for video template, so we're going to tap on that option. And here we are with video templates. These look really nice and they give you something to work with for your YouTube channel or whatever video project you're working on. And also like at the top here, we have a list of categories that go left to right. So we're gonna just show one of these off here. I'm going to pick something that I'm probably going to use for the YouTube channel. So we're going to look through here. We've got family first, we've got simple, we've got technology, We've got sketch, and then we've got summer. I think I'm going to keep it simple since I am a minimalist. And we're going to go with the one here that says Sandra Vlog. And then it's gonna pull up a dialog box. Where do you want to add this template? And we're going to tap as intro, but there is the option to add it as an outro. So again, we're going to stick with as intro. Now I'm going to go ahead and play this and it's going to look really good, but you'll see it says Sandra's vlog. And obviously we're going to want to change this. So we're going to do a little test here and I'm going to tap on the text. And uh, this is kind of showing up really small. So I'm going to expand it and then we're going to click on it. And for the time being, we're going to just name this test. Tap the check mark there and then we're gonna play it again. So now you're going to see that it says test. And again, we can click on this here. We can make it smaller, we can make it bigger. Uh, just depends on what you wanna do. You can even add pictures and pictures in the style of a picture or a video. So the next topic we have here is title. And again, we're going to have the toolbar in the top left-hand corner. We're gonna start with the house again. Then you've got the film icon with the music icon next to it. And then you've got basically a box overlapping another box. That's the one we're going to wanna to click on. And this pulls up all our text options. Now I've noticed that PowerDirector is always adding more text options. And these look really nice. So we're going to run through all of these. We have the default, we have colorful, those seem to be the newest. We have cool effect, they kind of sparkle a little bit. You've got TV broadcast, looks a bit more professional. Minimalist, that's for if you're trying to do something a little more simple. Interactive titles, they kind of uh, move, uh, kind of point to things, kind of, they're a little flashy. We've got social media. We've got vintage. These are all self-explanatory. Expressive titles. Expressive titles, they're almost like interactive titles in my opinion. And then we have the classic. Those have been around for the longest. I remember when I first started using PowerDirector on Chromebook doing video editing, there was really only classic. And then all this other stuff eventually was added slowly. So this application has really expanded. So if you're looking to do video editing on a Chromebook, it's practically easier than ever. So to give you an idea, we're going to add some text here. I'm going to just tap on some random ones. So we'll go ahead and add the cutie. We'll go ahead and add the graffiti. And then we'll go ahead and add the splash. 
And then we're going to tap the play button to see how all this looks. So you can see it all overlaps. In a real video, we wouldn't want this to happen. So we can actually drag these around. We can uh, make it so they're not overlapping. And these just look really nice. So now I can go ahead and play it. You know, none of these are overlapping. And this is just a quick sample. You know, we could obviously turn this into something that's actually more watchable. And then the last topic is stickers. And this is very exciting as well because just like titles, a lot has been added. So again, we're going to go to that navigation bar in the top left hand corner and we're going to look for that box on top of the box icon once again and then we're going to tap on it. Now this opens up a new navigation bar again and then we're going to look for sticker and tap on that. Now as you can see, there are a lot of stickers here. And just to give you an idea, I'm going to swipe to the left here so you can see just how long it takes to navigate through all of these. And just like titles, this wasn't all here. When I first started using PowerDirector, again, just like titles, there was a lot less. Now, the thing I like about the stickers is you'll see in the top right hand corner, we're going to have a downloaded option. Those are the ones we've downloaded. And for me, they're the ones that I use the most. So I don't have to look through all these categories, all the ones that I use the most, they're here all the time. So I went back to the beginning of the stickers because I wanna add a few to the timeline to demo them for this video. So we're just going to tap on some random ones here and add them to the timeline. There we go. And then we'll jump ahead here by clicking on one of the categories on the top and uh, just try to find something a little interesting here. So add that to the timeline and then we're going to play this to sample it. So again, you can see there is a lot going on and we could tap on each individual one again and move it around. You know, this would be kind of what we would do if we were actually making a project. And then we could tap on the timeline. We can start from the beginning just to give you an idea of the stuff that you can add to the timeline and what it could look like. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways to support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the content is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.